Hey bro, he's in Pagan Sisters. I'm Career Pairs, and welcome to who's the, this is the first in a set of will be a few videos reviewing the episodes of season six of My Old Pony Friendship is Magic. Like, this is the review of the premiere, which aired today. Hey, hey, and before I get into review, well, I will be spoiling the the premiere very heavily. So if you've not watched it, please go and do so. Ooh, ooh. First, unless you don't care about spoilers, in which case, bravo. So yeah, uh, season six started off with Starlight walking around Twilight's castle, which is way fucking bigger than we all, all thought it was. I mean, I thought it was big, but it looks like it has a lot more rooms than I think any of us were expecting. I mean, I guess the castle, you know, it's supposed to be able to hold a lot of people. Well, but, damn. So, yeah. Twilight's castle is so big, Starlight cannot figure out which room is which, and she walks in on Spike. I think it was like three times? No, twice. Twice. When he was flexing in the mirror. Her, which was actually a nice callback to uh, Party of One from Season One. They ate, they told Pinkie Pie they did that. It was a nice bit of continuity there. Her, and uh, the other time when he was brushing his teeth. Didn't know he brushed his teeth. Didn't know dragons were hygienic, but I guess he does live with Twilight, and all hell would break loose if he didn't, so there's that. So, yeah, he, she can't figure out where the library is, and Spike tells her, it's next door. You were so close. Well, he didn't say you were so close, that's me saying you were so close. So, sorry, like, so close. And then she... Then, after her exchange with Twilight, uh, they talk about what Starlight's first uh, friendship lesson will be. He, and when Starlight sees all the suggestions that Twilight has, she's like, wow. <sighs> and then Twilight's like, that's only the ace. There's, I haven't even started on the piece. <laughs> oh, of course. Twilight is is loving being a teacher because it means we're, we're organizing and more list making. So yeah, she's doing one of the most one of the things she loves to do the most, and that is she's organize, make lists, and, and just he be in control of everything. So Twi I think Twilight is going to thor. Th Really enjoy being a teacher, or despite what she states at the end, which I will get to then. So, oh, oh, after her conversation, and Twilight says, "Why don't she go talk with the others?" There's they're in the throne room, talking about when we. We're gonna leave for the Crystal Empire for the Crystling, which is obviously the plot of the premiere. And here's where the first where it gets a bit confusing because when she leaves, she's like, "Where's the throne room?" And I'm like, "You were in the throne room. You found it no problem at the end of season five. Do you not remember that?" Does Starlight have the memory of a fish? I get that the castle is big, but she found the throne room no problem. Well, we didn't see her have any problem. And she should at least remember where the throne room is. So that's that. That's a bit of a questionable... Huh? Bit moment from the premiere? That she didn't know where the throne room was, despite... Having already been in there in the season five finale, so yeah, hmm, interesting. So, 
Oh, few, I think it's like a, I, th I think it's a few days. Yeah, a few. I think a few days passes, and then Twilight gets like a snowflake that is holding an invitation, as like saying mm, that the baby has been born, and Twilight. I, it says that she's an aunt in the poshest way possible. I'm like, what the hell? What is that? I'm like, I never heard a character go so posh. And I mean, I get Twilight is originally from Camelot. She grew up in Camelot, where all like the posh ponies live. But Twilight's never acted like that before. But all of a sudden, she has this posh accent and when she's declaring that she is an aunt. I'm like, okay, that's interesting. Damn. <laughs> uh, so, oh, Twilight had had given Star a few options for her first lesson earlier. Says to Star at this time, okay, he just sells it. It it reuniting you with Sunburst is gonna be your first friendship lesson. Which Yeah, Starlight isn't uh, isn't too keen about because well, she's not too keen on telling him that she was pure evil. <laughs> but yeah, um I'll talk a bit more about their uh their interactions later. Or so we then cut to the uh, scene of the train, um, where we see that the main six are bringing gifts. Applejack is bringing a crib. Uh, Rainbow Dash bringing a mobile. Oh, and Rarity made a blanket. It. Um. So that was all pretty nice. He's and you know fuel for those ships, you know. So a few ship twice back um Sparkle Dash. I don't I don't know what the uh, ships for Rarity and Twilight and Rainbow and Twilight are called. But if you ship those here those pairs as well or, or instead, then you know, there you go. <laughs> you can, you can, especially Applejack, because she kinda like gave Twilight bedroom eyes, which Brilliant. Thank you, Hasbro. <laughs> uh, hilarious. This and very convincing. So yeah, they hear a knife and Shining Armor has learned his lesson. He's actually there to greet he twat hey and our friends when they arrive, but he's completely out of it. <laughs> Cause he has been so deprived of sleep, and it's a bit, you know, it's kind of like compare, like when we see Cadence later, you know, later in when they go to the castle. Well, we see Cadence, you know, she looks tired, but I kind of feel like the season three premiere, she looked a lot more tired. I mean, maybe she. He's like, she's like, okay, he, I have that bit of experience of having a bit of lack of sleep to try and, and prevent something catastrophic. I can go out sleep to make sure my a child is, you know, properly looked after. So maybe Cadence is using a bit of, of her experience with lack of sleep when she was trying to prevent Sombra from taking over at the start of season three to use here, or, which would be a nice bit of continuity as well. Also, you know, well done, Cadence. And then we come to the big reveal that the baby is an alicorn. And Estia's so like, yeah, this has never happened before, ever. So, okay, it's now canon that none of the four alicorns were born alicorns. So obviously, he, he, well, we didn't get the explanation, you know, we didn't really, he, uh, the fandom, I think, the collective 
hope was that Celestia would Celestia or Luna or someone would explain what this meant, but they kind of like, yeah, this has never happened before. Her, which only confirms that Celestia, Luna, and Canes were all well, all ascended, just like Twilight did, I guess, similar to Twilight, or in, you know, just different circumstances. This, this in in uh, I think it was Rarity who brought it up that like she thought. Uh, oh, you have to do who uh, something noteworthy to become an alicorn, and it was even after this that that Celestia was like, "Yeah, this doesn't. We don't even know what the fuck this means." So, oh, oh, instantly the main six are jumping in on like, "Okay, we're gonna." Help you out here, because obviously this is gonna be difficult. And Rainbow is instantly like, "Okay, I'll we'll make sure you know she doesn't go crazy with her wings." And, and Twilight's like, "I'll make sure she doesn't go any cra crazy with her magic." Not knowing how strong the magic of the baby was at this point, and then they learn. Because the baby instantly sneezes and puts a hole in the goddamn ceiling. And then we see this random pony no one's ever seen before. Also, why were the crystal ponies not crystal? Like, they weren't sparkling like normal. Was it because it was they were preparing for the, for the, uh, for the crystalline? But they didn't, like, they didn't turn crystal. To like their crystal form, I guess, until old, old they did that, so huh? I mean, I get if you leave well it, it's it's kinda confusing. I, I don't understand how the uh how the effects of the crystal heart work because we've seen Crystal Pony he's outside of the Crystal Empire in our episodes in previous seasons and they still have the effect on but when the main six left at the end of season at the end of uh, the season three premiere the effects immediately wore off and Kings in Shining Armor when they show up up and uh, when they showed up last season for both for both episodes that they were in be it slice of life and the one where Pinkie Pie knows, was they don't have it either. You think at least Cadence would? I mean, we're meant to be. I mean, we learned in season three that she is actually from the Crystal Empire. So, huh? Hasbro, can you at least explain that, please? If you see this, please explain that, because we're all very well. I'm very confused. Maybe someone. In the comments, will let me know what that was going. If that, if you can, that'd be fantastic. Anyway, uh, where was I? Oh yeah. So, Twilight. So Twilight. He says she is. So when Twilight and the others went to help, went to see the baby. He, he, he. Twilight sends Starlight and and Spike off to. Uh, Reunite Twilight and I mean not Twilight Sunset and Sunburst. So Starlight is like, right? How do I get out of this? And she's like trying to make any excuse not to see uh, Sunburst. Hang on a second. Sorry, gang. So yeah, Starlight is trying her best to avoid seeing Sunburst, and she's even so. Oh, they pass by the uh, big statue of Spike, which apparently isn't by the castle. I thought it was close to the castle. Well, but I guess it's like in the middle of town. Anyway, yeah. So, Ustara starts 
asking Spike all those these questions and, and these crystal po he's uh, and start or kind of like he trains Spike how you would treat a celebrity because in the crystal pony's eyes Spike he gives a celebrity because he helped find the crystal heart or again another callback to season three's premiere so oof, oof. Oh, they're all treating Spike like a celebrity, yeah, and Starla is pushing this as much as she can. She's like, like they didn't bring up the games, and she's like, "Oh, I don't care about the games." And, and Spike's like, "No, no, 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 no! I don't think I forgot." He doesn't exactly say this, but this is pretty much what he did do: is that he didn't he didn't forget what they were supposed to be doing. He didn't know that this. He didn't let it slide. He didn't forget that he actually he he actually made a really good contribution to the episode, which makes a nice change. Because normally he he in in the eyes of most episodes, well, some episodes, not most episodes, in the eyes of some episodes, he either causes the problem. Or is just there to be comic relief? If I eat a situation like Power Ponies. But, um, so they go to Sunburst's house, and originally he's like, he's kind of like trying, you could see that they're trying to pass him off as one of those guys who doesn't even remember. He initially has to really, like, think about who Starlight even is. So, straight off the bat, I'm like, this guy's an idiot. This guy, so, as soon as he's like, he's like, he putting off, talking about, oh, what a great wizard he is. <laughs> uh, I knew straight away, I'm like, this guy's not a wizard. I'd be surprised if he still did magic. He does still do magic. He's just not that good at it. He kind of like dropped off, apparently. Apparently, after her 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 day split up, he became shit magic, and she became evil. So there you go, kids. Don't ruin your childhood friendships, or one of your or you will either become mm, mm, terrible at, at what you were good at while you were young, or evil. And your other friend, they'll become what you don't become. So there you go, kids. It, it. Keep your friendships going. <laughs> and of course, later in the episode, they rekindle their, their friendship, and they even talk about what they did. And it was really good for her character that start like got at her uh, the um. The metaphorical monkey off her back by laying it out what she had done, like by taking away a police cutie marks and, 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 and having to be stopped by Twilight and her friends. You know, Twilight and the main six didn't do shit to stop Starlight. It was really the the other ponies in the village that stopped you, who Twilight. And, and Co just revealed that you were a big liar, and they were like, and then the other ponies just turned on you. So, yeah, I'm really concerned about Starlight's memory. I'm starting to think she has a really bad case of um, Alzheimer's because otherwise she's thick as wood. So yeah, she clearly has terrible memories. He, he, and, uh, all the, all the, the Pinky and, and Twilight are looking after the baby. He will, will shine armor and the rest of the main six are all trying to uh, get everything in order for the, uh, for the crystal. And it was, I really love Shining Armor's face. Uh, we have the, I've picked which pony is going to be 
either. Uh, whatever. I've even I've forgotten what he did with the those guard ponies. He's and uh, he picked the special crystal. Oh, and he's like, all we need now is. And he's like thinking, and Kane just goes, the baby, and he goes, oh shit. <laughs> it was hilarious. Like. There were part, there were bare parts of the episode, but that the face he pulls when he realizes it's the baby he's forgotten is hilarious. So, oh, after the baby accidentally destroys the crystal heart, it, it, while that came in pink and rarity, I'll go to the library. He well, well, Celestia and Luna. Actually, do something and try hey, yes, to get rid of the clouds that are, are, are forming over to you know do the se snowstorm that will obviously freeze all the ponies and bury the crystal empire er, because the crystal heart is as said destroyed. So it's up to Applejack, Fluttershy, and Rainbow Dash to try and convince the ponies. That, yeah, you ever want to go inside or leave? Which, it's not too e easy to convince them. They were pretty stubborn. stubborn. Which, you think Applejack would know how to handle stubborn ponies, considering she's the stubborn pony. <laughs> but, no. And when she said she was going to be brutally honest with them, I was like, no, AJ, don't. Do not just spring it on them. Eventually, they did learn that the heart had been destroyed, but it was Shiny who told them. I was just praying. I know she's the element of honesty, but there's a certain point where honesty is like the wrong thing to do. Just like, even if you're in, you know, she is the element of honesty, it was better that they didn't know yet. And while. They did deserve to know. It's just... <clears throat> I feel like... The right pony... Told them. Like... If it was Applejack... They might not even have believed... That the heart was just... Wait... It's, I mean... They hardly know... The main six. Although there was one pony... Who kind of like... Looked like an ultimate... Fanboy... Who had... Pins of... Everything on his coat. Seriously, he had like Twilight he wore her crown on and a sun and a moon, he had an apple. He had he had like he had all these pins. I'm like, what the f like who the fuck are you? What what is it? what the fuck? He just his mere presence confused me. I'm like Okay, um, right, interesting. But yeah, and they, um, so they, um, so in the library, the, uh, Twilight came, they're all looking for a spell to fix the Crystal Heart. They find the right spell, but it, it, it doesn't work. Because they didn't realize that they were missing one key e element. And, and it takes when Sunburst and Starlight come along. Sunburst is like, you have to pair the spell with the crystalline. And then that will fix the heart. Hurt. Hurt and all, everything will be good. And they're like, oh, okay. So, initially, he Twilight was going to be he, the... Uh, Yeah, uh, I forget what title they gave Sunburst, which is very bad to me. I should have written it down, to be fair. Um, but yeah, and initially, we, it was going to be Twilight, which, you know, obviously, it was initially going to be Twilight. She's the brother, she's the sister or of, of, she's the aunt of the baby, like, 
He so yeah. <laughs> and uh, but they give it to Sunburst because they're like Twilight needs to focus on the the spell. Oh, and it was really cool to see he that Twilight eat Luna and Celestia and even in Starlight he all will combine in their magic. Like it cause they even showed that Twilight couldn't do it alone and that she needed help. Um, why it's time came the spell took four her to do when Twilight and Kane's did it no problem. I mean like I get you know, I'm not complaining that's that Starlight, It's Celestia, and Luna had it, I had helping, well, Hoof in the in the finale and, you know, in the fixing of the problem. But it could have easily just been just Luna or Celestia and Celestia, or Twilight and Luna, or Twilight and Celestia, or any pair of the two would have worked perfectly. And we already know that from earlier in that episode. So, but like I said, I'm not complaining that the uh, the Royal Pony Sisters got actually involved this time around, and because we've been waiting for them to actually do something other than occasionally he mentor ponies is in their sleep, like Lunid has been doing, and whatever it is Celestia does, which isn't a whole lot to if other seasons are to be, be uh, believed. But everything works out perfectly. He, he, the crystal heart is repaired. And the uh, the kind of like Lion King thing reference was kind of cool. Oh, how like all the ponies are like bowing like you call the animals bow to Simba when, when Rafiki raises him up. Up at the beginning of the movie, he and, and similar, her her flurry heart is being lifted by the combining magic of shining armor and uh, canes. So he, so oh, at the end, this is the main six are getting ready to leave. Here comes Twilight's parents, and I was wondering where they were, and they actually spoke. I was, you know, I was. Kind of figuring they wouldn't make an appearance. You know, obviously they were going to make an appearance. I wasn't expecting them to talk, though. So, that was a nice touch. Touch that they uh, talked. And I like how Twilight says, like, The weather was terrible. Oh, when it delayed us getting up here s sooner. Her, her, not realizing that it was Murray Art that caused the bad weather. <laughs> and I have to say, he, I don't... I haven't seen... Uh, I... I was watching a stream of the uh, of the episode, and the person who was streaming it cut it off before I could see who played, who did the voices for the parents. But whoever did it, pretty did a very good job. Up and uh, the voices were brilliant. And now, uh, oh, oh, fanfic writers have something. One if they wanna, you know, if they wanna like mentally picture the pony saying the lines like well, I do fan fiction but I'm like alright try to picture the pony saying the line and it's much easier to write I find so yeah there you go a little a little, little spidget for uh, writing there you go but yeah uh, all in all all the uh, premiere was very good and the uh the fact that they're they're sore and hinting that like Flurry Heart's magic is now under control because she sneezed again and, and like the main six they all like ducked because right, they were expecting a big explosion of magic again but there was no explosion of magic so either or she did it earlier or as a troll she has already learned how to control it. Or maybe her magic was reduced during the christening? Hmm. It'll be something to build on later in the season. But, all in all, all, all the 
the season six premiere was is absolutely fantastic. Uh, normally, uh, when you're reviewing something, you have to rate it out at ten. Since this is a two part, I'm gonna rate it out at twenty, and I'm gonna give it seventeen out of twenty. He, he. Just because I feel like they could have done more. Her. There was nothing wrong with what they did, but they could have done more to make the enjoyment that much. Just a little bit better. But 17 out of 20 isn't bad. That. That. Am I right? So, yeah. That is. That is my thought on the season 6 it's premiere her let me know your thoughts of the premiere in the comment section below well smash the like button if you enjoyed this subscribe for for more videos and more her reviews very very soon and if you guys if you uh want to see me review older episodes I'm fully prepared to do do that, just let me know in the comment section below, and I will get those out for you as well. So, oh, oh until next time, thanks for watching, hope you enjoy, and, uh, and until next time, I hope you all have a very, very nice day. Peace.